Hello everybody, Drew here, tip of the mitt flips, where I'm a full-time eBay reseller and every 100 subscribers there's a giveaway. So if you're watching, make sure to subscribe so you have a chance to win. I'm back. I know videos have been going on for a few days now, a couple weeks now, depending on how many videos I had backlogged. And then I had the computer malfunction, which took me out for about 10 days as far as being able to edit. And so I just stopped filming for that, that time and just kind of, we had a lot on the table and I am tired. <laughs> there was our local fair. Cadence had a birthday party last night. The kids, the, they, the girls did not go to sleep. They were supposed to camp in the backyard. They decided to just come in and out of the house all night. And I think I have about three hours of sleep because, you know, tell preteen girls to do something. They're going to still do whatever they want. So, yeah, so it's been about a 10 day hiatus since I last filmed something. And also over that time, I did a little experiment and it's the second time I've done it and it will be the last time I do it. What I did is I turned off promoted listings, promoted listing on all of my items. And then I ran my normal sales, which uh, I rotate back and forth between I do a 10% off my whole store sale and then I do a 20% off around 100 to 150 items that I individually select older stuff, higher end stuff, depending on how I'm feeling that day, how sales are going. And then I also ran because I turned promoted listing off, which right now I run 2.1% uh, promoted listing, which if you aren't an eBay seller, that is a f additional fee you pay to eBay to promote your listing. Um, it's, you know, it's, it's a, it's a scam to get you to spend more money through fees. And even one time, because I turned off that 2.1, I ran a 15% sale on the whole store because take away the 2.1 and additional 5%, it's only actually adding 2.9%. Hey, look at that, it's math. But over that period, <clears throat> sorry, voice pretty gone. Like I said, we had the fair, went to a bump and run, which is like a car crashing race, tons of fun. But between the smoke from the campfire and the exhaust from that and just screaming and yelling for days on end my voice is pretty far gone but over that time period sales i mean bad bad worse they've been in over a year and i'm not it's not a big enough sample size to say that 100 percent those two things are correlated but for me i'm never gonna do that again because the both times i've turned off promoter listing and I know that's not how it's supposed to work. And even larger YouTube channels, larger eBay stores, they're very against using promoter listing because they say, why give away that extra? Just add it onto this, add it onto your sales or whatever, or the stuff that promoter listings is supposed to do, which is move your listing up, that that shouldn't help as far as, you know, if somebody types in what they want and that's what they get. But the amount of extra sales I get to say this is from a promoter listing and when I turn off promoter listings, my sales go to zero almost. So I, I don't think eBay is letting us know exactly what promoter listings is doing. And I honestly think that they are almost shadow banning or hiding listings if you don't promote them because it was a night and day difference. And like I said, and I don't go overboard. The minimum is two. I do 2.1 just to put me above anybody that just does the minimum. And I'll, I'll continue to do that. The problem is, is that as soon as eBay realizes that, okay, most people are willing to, put, to do the 1% promoter listing, the, the base promoted. So then they made 2% the minimum. I foresee that continuing to go up forever probably once a year, every other quarter, something like that, that minimum is just going to continue to go up and nickel and dime us with fees forever. That's just kind of eBay's new business model. Fees, 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 fees. It is what it is. Not happy about it. And just going to have to leave it on going forward. And again, sorry, I'm, I'm very out of it, very tired. I've been up since four this morning. That was the last time I got woke up and the last time I decided to try to go back to sleep. So let's try to get through these. Let's see. It was a great sales weekend. That's the other thing. It The turnaround was amazing. I got 28 sales and, you know, could have a couple more today. I'm going to try to pull as many as I can, but it's also Monday, so I have golf. 
Again, busy, busy, busy. So let's go ahead and get to work. Oh, and I did say I was gonna go over all the stuff I'd gotten from that sale where I bought a ton of stuff. Too late. Most, most of it's listed. You'll have to see it when it sells. Um, again, just lack of time. Things will will smooth out here directly. Kids go back to school. Cadence's birthday party was yesterday. Michael's is next week. And then we are good for a while till, you know, the Thanksgiving Christmas type of rush. So let's go ahead. B6, Celebrate the Century. It's a book set. Ugh. It's a heavy book set. It is from the USPS. It's Celebrate the Century. And it's uh, books of um, stamps through the century. And I noticed when I listed it that some were new, but most were exactly like this, where there was eight of them that weren't open and then two that were. And I thought that was very weird because they there was many, many, many of them like that. Most of them were like that. Turns out the book set also came with stamps and the stamps are in the first two books. So most stamp collectors, I think, got the set, opened it, got the collector edition stamps or whatever that came with it, and then they had no purpose for the rest of it. For that right there, took an offer, $30 free shipping. Next on B3A is a Texas, Texas Instruments uh, graphing calculator. B3A. It's gotta be this one right here with no case, and it does have some damage in the screen. I think it was still, cause it, it's fully functional, it just has some dead spots in the screen. And I think I had a list in 1999, took a significant offer, $10 free shipping. And that's cause it does have the damage. Just go ahead and let's get it out of here. Next thing up, okay. Maybe I complained a little too hard about this one. Uh, I'm not gonna get it right do down right now, but I'll still show it off over there. It is a, on A6, Whammo Shrink Machine is this one, this box right here. It is, as it says, a Whammo Shrink Machine, which is you take the little shrink, shrinky dink type cutout stuff and you put it in a little oven and it bakes into these smaller little trinkets. You can color your own, you can make your own, all the above. Mine was very, very close to complete with all the colored pencils and the glue and all that kind of stuff. And I had went on a bit of a rant before about how the market got destroyed by a couple of low ball sellers. And so then I went back and I did adjust the price. I lowered it by, I want to say I lowered it by 50 bucks. I think it made, I made, took mine down to 199.99 plus shipping. And then I got an offer of 145 plus shipping. And I said, okay, let's go ahead. And then when I did go back and look, there were some other ones that were much higher than mine, which weren't there before when I was complaining about it. Like one of my things was listed at like $500. And that's just ludicrous on the other end. But I don't care if somebody's way too high a price. That makes my price look good. But for me, 145 plus shipping, I think I paid $2 for it. I bought in a huge lot of games and stuff that I made a ton of money on. So 145 plus shipping, glad to see it go. Maybe complaining about it is what got it going. And there was a note from the buyer, what'd they say? Hey, looking forward to doing business with you. Please pack in a box, blah, blah. Just tell me to pack it safely. I certainly will. And actually that's the only difficult pack job I have today. So I'm probably gonna do that one first, get it out of the way. And then the rest of it is smooth sailing. Next up, A3, vintage Tupperware measuring spoons in the white. But I think in Tupperware, they usually call this almond. Um, but that set right there, set of seven with no ring, $15.99 free shipping. Next up is a game, Downhill Domination for PlayStation 2. This one right here. And I got all of the individual listing PS2 games listed. A couple of the lots I still have to go through. But that last buy of PlayStation 2 games, all had manuals. All the games were in mint condition. It was great. Couple of good winners. It def definitely, I paid for the console and the games, I paid 25 bucks and there was probably about $400 worth of games. So very happy about that. Oh, let me rephrase that. Including the other games I had from a prior buy, there was $400 worth of games. So I don't remember how much I paid for those. 
so, somewhere in there. Either way, I'm happy. That game right there, $21.99 free shipping. I think I sent out an offer. Next up, C5A is a vintage Fisher Price doggy. C. One, two, three, four, five, A. The heck is C5A? We don't have a C5A. I'm guessing maybe D5A? Oops. But we don't have a D5. Three, four, yeah, this is a D5. Okay. Oh, I even see the little tail. Here we go. Yep, see a little tail poking out there? There we go. This little dogger right there, I got... $9.99 free shipping. That's fantastic. Don't overlook those free boxes, the, the little toys, you know, or they'll have, you know, the big Ziploc bag full of tiny little toys. If there's 25 of these in there and there's $9.99 free shipping a piece, that's great money. Um, Next thing going out, C3 is a vintage Jacobs and Chuck nut. It is this little box here. Uh, one set of jaws and one threaded nut. I have no clue what this is. You'll hear me say that often because you don't have to know what it is. You have to know if it's worth something. And that right there, actually going through the global shipping program, $28.99 free shipping. Next thing going out on A5 is a cool vintage water bottle. And I don't mean cool as in C-O-O-L. I mean cool as in cool cigarettes. K-O-O-L. And I got this at a thrift store a couple towns over. I think I paid a buck for it, maybe 50 cents. But $14.99 free shipping. I'll take that. Next thing going out on B2C is a Monsters, Inc. Disney Pixar. B2C, I think is what I just said. This one right here. I don't remember her name, like Clara or something. She's the office lady in Monsters, Inc. Or the secretary, if I'm not mistaken. What is her name? It's got to say on here somewhere. Uh, Celia May. Can't really see it because it's in the package. But for that, $10.99 free shipping. Next thing going out on B1 is British Pub Mats, also known as Coasters. B1 right down here. This is, I got this at the same uh, sale. I sold just, I don't know, a few videos back. I sold some other coasters. I got these at that same sale. The other ones I got in the free box. This, These ones I actually, I think I paid a buck, 50 cents. I paid for these. So it's gotta be somewhere in that range. And for those, $14.99 free shipping. And I guess I could even point out, um, which one so far? The books. Promoted listing. Spoons. Promoted listing. The dog. Sold via promoted listing. The coasters. Promoted listing. So, you know, you take those out and I would have had half the sales today. And again, I think that it's not that the promoted listings are helping. I honestly believe deep in my soul that eBay's algorithm is biased towards sellers that have promoted listings and i think is weighted in a significant way i have no proof of this i don't have a big enough sample size to say that is or isn't it that is my personal feeling that is the way that if i was running the company i would do it because and not saying like because because i'm a you know jerk that wants to steal people's money and make people pay more things but that's how ebay has decided their business model works is through fees they they make their money through fees and so this would be the how you would want to drum up more fees oh the fees get me sales that's that makes me the buyer i mean me the seller decide that i will pay the fees because the fees get me sales so they're convincing me through their algorithm that I need these fees. Oh, I need the fees. Take my fees. Gladly take my fees. Yeah, yeah, it is what it is. It is what it is. There isn't a better platform to sell on until there is. It's just complaints and nonsense. Um, Next thing going out. A3 is a set of Tupperware. A, one, two, three uh, measuring cups in orange. These ones right here. And I don't know why, but I've I've recently been coming across a lot of sets of the measuring cups and the spoons. And it was something I would come across sometimes, but not 
Not as often as I have this summer. I'm thinking maybe three or four sets of each just this summer. And for those, $16.99 free shipping. Next thing going out is a Mushrooms Cruel Kit. It's one of those embroidery, embroidery by number type of things. And this one is Mushrooms. Where are we at? Where are we at? Ah, here we go. It's a little one. Great, great. There we go. That cool looking one with, I guess these are supposed to be mushrooms. That is not a very creative one. Seems very basic compared to the rest, but it is, I think this is more of a beginner one because you'll see it's got the thicker thread where a lot of times other ones, they have the very thin detailed thread. For that, it was on sale, $22.49 free shipping. Also, over the weekend or last week at the end of the week, uh, this these are three different sizes of poly bags and I bought a lot. One of the sizes I bought a thousand the other two sizes I bought, I think, 500 of. And that's, of course, I will use them eventually, but the pr I priced out everything. And it wasn't always, here's, let's go ahead and do it. Tip of the day. Just because something's in bulk and larger bulk does not mean it's the cheapest. This is something I've noticed a lot lately at the grocery store. Family size cereals, not always the cheapest option per ounce or per unit. Mayonnaise the other day, the big old like gallon jug of mayonnaise is actually per ounce more expensive at my local Walmart than the smaller one, the regular size one. So I don't have to jam my hand in the giant jug to save three cents. It was actually more money. And when I priced out the poly bags, same thing. The one I got a thousand of, it was cheapest by a significant amount, 20 something cents per. When I jumped from, if I went from a hundred to the thousand, it was, it was a lot. But the other ones, the dip, the big difference was only jumping from a hundred up to the 500 or 400 or something in that range. But if I made that next jump to the thousand on those other ones, the difference was only another additional, you know, penny per or something like that. It was very, very little. And if I wouldn't have went through and done the math, I would have just assumed, oh yeah, let's just get the big one. It'll be the cheapest. It was the cheapest, but only by a, just a tiny margin. And my thought was for those ones, cause they were the bigger ones that probably, cause they were free shipping, once they get to the 500 mark, when it jumps up to that next one, it probably costs them too much in shipping. And so their profits get removed and therefore the, the savings you get also gets removed. That was my, my reasoning I had wrapped my head around. But my plan is because I bought so many and because it was such a significant savings, I went and looked at where I buy my poly bags, which there's a link in the description if you happen to be searching for poly bags. I use the 2.5 mil. They also sell a two mil. I've gone through about a hundred of them now. I like them. I, I found a company I like. They come in a re reasonable amount of time. I've priced them out. I'm just going to stick with it till... I don't know. I'm just going to stick with it unless they raise the prices Then I guess I'll do more research. But because I bought so many, the listings they have for their very small pack, very small um, quantity, you know, 10 or 25, whatever their smallest was, was a lot of money. So I think I'm actually going to do three listings in my eBay store of poly bags. And I'll probably just have that continuously going. Why not? If I sell half of those at the price they sell their smaller quantities, which I also did the math on that at some point, I would actually make all my money back I spent on them plus profits. And that's, I mean, it doesn't look like much, but this is $300 in poly bags in right here, $250 in poly bags. So if I could make $250 back and still have poly bags, I'm, in, I'm into it. Next thing going out is Star Wars Battlefront for PS2. This one right here. And this is a pretty good game. I remember playing this for a little bit, but I, I played it when it was new. <laughs> so <laughs> oh, I'm old. For that one, must have been on sale, $15.29 free shipping. And another game going out. This one is ACDC Live Rock Band for 
Xbox 360. And this one was a mistake that I bought because, and this one's $8.49 free shipping. That might've been an offer I sent out. Uh, but the mis reason that's a mistake is because there were Salvation Army, I think there was three of these rock band type games. And I looked up one of them and it was $20 plus. And so I just grabbed all three that were there. Mistake. I should have grabbed the one that was worth something and left the ones that weren't because $8.49 free shipping, not making a ton of money because I probably, even on half off day, I paid a buck 50 for that. So not, not good. And the next thing going out on D3 is four vintage D123. Oh, right in front of my face. These are Tupperware cereal bowls. I don't care if you don't think they're a cereal bowl. This is a cereal bowl. And I've said before, I think cereal just hits different in those. It it's it it's maybe a perfect size for milk to cereal ratio. Maybe it's because it's from my childhood we use those. I have no idea, but cereal out of one of those just seems to taste better. $14.99 free shipping for those. And that was one of those weird ones, because I think that's full price. But I had that happen on some item this week, I don't remember which one it was, where I sent out an offer and then immediately somebody bought it full price. And I have had before where the person I sent the offer to is the person that buys it for full price. And I think that's just a glitch that happens sometimes on eBay's end. I really don't know. Or maybe they lost the listing, they had to go back and then they didn't get their offer. I have no idea, but $14.99 free shipping for those ones. If you hear screaming, it's, uh, one of the projects I did that makes me very tired today is I cleared out a back area in our yard just on the other side of this wall and I put in a pool for the kids, a, a decent sized pool. So yeah, so they're out there swimming right now at 11 in the morning. <laughs> uh, it's not that warm either. It's like 68 degrees, but they got a pool and they're happy. So if you hear screaming, that's what it is. Uh, next up on D4 is two vintage flocked Santa Clauses and flocked is this stuff where it's like felt on top of something and what that usually is is a spray that you put over top of something and these are like a little plasticky blow mold type of thing and these Santas are two of the items that I did get well your eyes are a little little off there Santa but those are two of the items I got at that sale that I said I got a ton of stuff at for super cheap but for the pair of those it was 25 cents I had no clue what those were worth, but I knew I was going to make more than 25 cents. And for the pair of those, $24 free shipping for those that I paid 25 cents for. And I had the garage half full with stuff like that. There was a couple of um, Christmas wreaths I paid 50 cents a piece for. I think they're 45 bucks a piece. It was, I got a pair of Garmin's that I paid $10 each for and they were 135 bucks a piece. It was just, it was good. It was real good. And speaking of good, this one, this one made me chuckle. A1 is uh, some paper mache covered pine cones in this bag here. That's very attractive, but let me get one out so you can see right here. And it is literally a pine cone that's covered in paper mache. And there's a set of them here. This was in a free box. And I grabbed them because they're free. And my thoughts were, one, maybe we'll use them as like a fall decoration. Maybe Jen will want them. Maybe we'll use them as a craft for the kids. Paint them. Somebody mentioned that they kind of looked like dinosaur eggs. We could have done something like that. And then Jen's like, well, I'll list them. We'll see. Let's let's just let's just put a price on them and see what happens. And what happened is somebody paid. $14.99 free shipping, cost of zero dollars. All right, I just had to straighten up a little bit so I'd have some more room. Next thing going out, it's a book and it's a good one. 1906, the Manual of the Holy Catholic Church. This big mamma jamma right here. That one right there. And this is a, a one of two part series. There's a, a volume one and a volume two, is what I'm trying to say. Again, promoted listing sale. So I'm, I I don't know the Bulls promoted listing, the Starfront, the Battlefront game promoted listing. So it's it's half or more than half of them were through sold via promoted listing. I guess the, the thing that sticks in the back of my head is I put a lot of trust in 
auction professor. He does a lot of research. He will do large sample si size tests. He found for his store that it wasn't helpful. So I'm not saying for every store you should do it. I'm not saying for everyone it's the same. I'm not even saying that what happened this time is going to happen again. But for me, when I turn it off, sales disappear. When it's on, sales stay the same. I can't take that risk. I can't be fooling around with, with how much money I make. Just, it is what it is. I'll never go above the minimum. That will never happen because I don't want to give more money, but turning it off completely, I can't risk it again. But for that book right there, $89.99 free shipping. That's a great book sale. Next thing going out on C1 is a wooden spice rack with the words spices. C1. And I did tell Jen to stop, which she of course didn't, but I, I asked her to stop putting stuff on these bottom shelves because I have a couple, here we go, there's a spice rack. Very simplistic, very light, not, you know, not, not muffin, not, not much to it. I said not muffin to it. I think that was much and nothing combined. Not muffin to it. Very light. This will go first class. I hope I can find a box that's already close to that size. Uh, but for that, $13.49 plus shipping. I probably paid a dollar. I got it at a garage sale. Sold via promoted listing. But one of the thoughts I have, I think on this one here, like I said, I'm gonna I'm trying to get her to just stop putting stuff down there till. I figure out what I want to do because it's just a pain to try to dig stuff back out. Mostly what I want to do is just start doing like up here where it's just the larger items and put those down there just so I'm not having to get down there as often. That's one thing. But for this one specifically, I think I'm going to look into trying to make some type of pull out, not a drawer, but almost just a pull out shelf, just a... Uh, I don't know, maybe some casters on the front and then a couple slides. I'm not really sure. Even if it's just longer set, I put a couple legs with casters on the front and it doesn't go all the way in and then casters on the back. And then I think we could put shoes on it, layer two or three rows of shoes and then it slides in and out. I think that that might be a good solution to adding a little more space and utilizing the space we already have a little better. Something like that. Something that slides out on that first one. The other ones would be a little more difficult because it's there's stuff in the way. But that is a thought in my mind. Will that come to fruition? Eh, we'll find out. <laughs> Who knows? Next thing going out on B3 is a vintage, the speedy stitcher sewing thing. B3 right here. And I sold one of these um, when I wasn't filming. It's a sewing awl. So I think it's for, it looks like it's for leather work possibly, uh, but it's a stabby thing that you stab and stuff. But while I'm here, this was just sitting around for paperwork or something. I don't know. It was just collecting dust and this will not be permanent. But for right now, it was a good way to get the locks up and add just a couple more spaces because sometimes that's what you need. When you're, you're listing at the rate we've been listing lately, combined with how slow sales were over that same time period, the couple extra spots can really be key to keeping things as organized as possible. For that one right there, $14.39 free shipping. And then next thing going out, this one's very cool. C2 is a vintage Motorola cell phone. One, two, three. Oh, sorry, C2, one, two, I can count. And it is this one right here. This is your, oh, what's that movie called with Charlie Sheen? Something, something money? No, Wall Street, Wall Street. This is your, your Wall's classic Wall Street Motorola cell phone right here. With charging dock, charging block, like charging station and the block and the car charger. Got that from my father. He might have just given that to me. I might have paid him 10 bucks. I'm not really sure. The way we do most of our deals, he goes, hey, you want this? And I'll either look it up right away or I'll message him later that day and say, hey, I'll give you five bucks. He'll give you 10 bucks. He just writes it on the tally, puts it, puts it on the tab. But for that right there, sent out an offer, um, I think 10 bucks off, $89.99 plus shipping. Great sale. That had been listed for, uh, I think, I think it got listed on Friday and today's Monday. So just through the weekend. 
and I don't remember what day it sold. So it could have been 48 hours, 24 hours, who knows? Voice starting to go a little bit. So I'm gonna try to power through the end here. <laughs> I say knowing that there's still a bunch of listings, a bunch of sales left. Next thing going out, it's a book. Step right up. This one here. And this book right here, Step Right Up. I'm guessing it's about uh, like a sideshow type of thing. And for that book, 1951 by Dan Mannix. And it's about carnival life. Uh, it says in the description, 1249 free shipping. And then next up, glad to see another one of these go on B3 is a Parker 45 classic B3. Okay, it's in this box here. I'm just gonna bring the box so I can be sure, but it's pen. Have you haven't figured that out yet? It's a pen. All right. Oh, it's blue. I thought it was black. Don't got my glasses on, but it's this one right here. It's a pen, pen with a cap. It's got a nib. I don't know a lot about pens. Jen listed all these and now she is a pen expert, but this was a really good score, this box of pens, but that's only the second one to sell. So I would like more of them to sell. That'd be, that makes it a lot better. But for that one, going through the global shipping program, sold via promoted listing. And I'm not trying to promote promoted listing. I'm just saying sales were, and the book was also promoted listing. Sales were abysmal. They were bad. They were the worst they've been in, like I said, probably over a year. And we were listing a ton in that same time period. Double what we normally list over that same time period. I don't know. I have to, I have to at this point, go on the assumption that promoted listing, if you don't do it, that your listings are getting buried. I have to go on that assumption because the proof seems to be there. Again, I always say, you run your business your way, I'm gonna run my business my way and I just let you know how I run mine. You gotta make your own decisions on all of that. Do your own experiments. Try this, try that. See what you come up with. Cause I really thought, turn off promoted listing. Do instead of your 10% off, do that as a 15% off whole store. I was like, well, that's an extra 5% off. Every item that I normally don't do more than 10%. I, I, I assume that my sales would have just taken off with that, but it was, it was, Ghost Town. The pen right there though, uh, 40 49 free shipping, and that uh, was on sale. And then next thing going out is a hat, Vintage Mustang Ranch, which I think is this red one here. Yes, Vintage Mustang Ranch Quality Control Supervisor. Oh, there's a lady on there. I had no idea. I am mostly positive I got that for free. 14.39 free shipping. Next up is another hat, ICI Paints, I think it was. I thought I read pants, but it's gotta be paints. It's this one here, yeah, paint stores. ICI Paint Stores in camo. Maybe though that wasn't free. If I got it at the sale, I got this hat at. I got like seven hats for $2, something like that, very cheap. 17.99 free shipping for that one. And that one, promoted listing. I, Again, I, I, I just want, I want to make sure I'm being clear. I'm not saying that that will improve your sales. I'm not saying that that is why my sales improved. I'm just saying there was a significant difference. Off, no sales, on, tons of sales. Maybe, maybe first quarter next year, I'll do the experiment again, which would be the third time I, I've done it. And then I'll make my final decision whether or not, but as far as it looks to me, promoted you got to do it do the do two percent and you know it is what it is sell more stuff uh because that that's the other thing yes i'm spending more in fees but if you don't get any sales who cares if you're saving money on fees you're still not making any money so i it you take the good with the bad that's what you got to do b4 is a vintage coleman tough foam b one two three four uh right back here and this is, I do not throw the, it around lightly. This is a bolo. And the reason I don't use that term is because people always say bolo, which is be on the lookout. They say bolo about stuff you're never going to find. They say bolo about rare collectibles or, or just like a weird or unique thing. That's not something you should be on the lookout for. That's the opposite. Don't be on the lookout for that. You will waste your time. Coleman Tough Foams, 
you will find every summer at garage sales. You will sometimes find at thrift stores for way too much money. But for that single Coleman Tough Foam on sale, $13.49 free shipping. On sale, $13.49 free shipping. So it was probably $14.99 free shipping listed, and I would have got it. And it's not in great shape. It's dingy. It's beat up. But, but people pay for them. People pay good money for them. Through promoter listing on that one again. Proof seems to be in the pudding, as they say. Proof in the promoted, as they say. <laughs> uh, next thing up, C4 is a pro photo camera bag. C1234. Guessing it's this one over here. Looks darker in the listing. Maybe the lighting was a little off that day. But pro photo camera bag. I didn't think uh, this was worth listing at all. I bought it because of the camera that was in it, if I recall. And Jen said, well, I'm just going to list it anyways. We'll see how it goes. Sold through promoted listing. $11 free shipping. Because it's a flat number, I'm guessing that's an offer that I accept. And because to me, it was trash, I would have taken basically any offer that made me any money. And I think it was $14.99 to start with. And then last thing going out today... Surprise, surprise, sold through promoted listing. It's a book. Uh, the Pirate of Panama. That's fun to say. Pirate of Panama. This book right here took an offer. Oh, nope. Probably sent out an offer. People don't tend to send you offers of $9.99. That would be a weird thing to do. Probably something I would do. But for that book right there, $9.99 free shipping. And just something uh, a little different, I will actually, at the end of this video, I'll just do a little montage of any of the big hits that were over the time where I took a film hiatus. Any sales that I find found interesting or useful to you, I'm gonna stick at the end of the video just so that you still get to see it. Well, that's gonna be all for this one. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, go ahead and give it a thumbs down. Subscribe, share, and be good to each other.